Hey there, everybody. Uh, this video is going to show you how to create a drawing that looks a lot like the one that I gave you for the intersect exercise here. So if uh, basically I want you guys to create this drawing, so it's going to be attached to this assignment. Um, but you guys, by the time you get to this assignment, should have already made this object and should have something like this um, over here in AutoCAD already made. So this is what we're shooting for here, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So if we started with um, just our, our regular old uh, template here, um, as if you didn't already have this done, um, what you're going to end up with is you're going to end up with something that probably looks like this. You've got your regular old model space here. We could even change the view, make this 3D, all that stuff, but that's not really going to help us because we want like a front view, top view, side view. It would be really annoying to go and try to do different viewports for these. And then what if we want to move or change one? they wouldn't be lined up anymore because there are options to do like um, views. Wait, is it M view? View. We could add pre-made views. We could do M view. Um, there, there's different ways you can add these views and, or is it viewport? I'm trying to remember. Viewports. There we go. You could add in here like four equal size viewports. Uh, we could specify the corners blah de blah de blah Hey, there we go. And wow, that's cool, but like, what if we move one? Now they're all screwed up, so we're not gonna do that. So I'm gonna hit undo. So what we're gonna use instead is this command called the, oh my goodness, there we go, the view base command. So to start this, we're going to uh, make sure we're not in model space here. We're gonna delete our viewport that's already here. If you don't remember, make sure I'm in paper space. There we go, paper space. If you don't remember, you can select things that are under your mouse by holding shift while your mouse is over something. Like I know the viewport's underneath here also, but so is so are these lines. So if I hold shift, I push spacebar once, I let go of shift, and then I click, it's going to pick that viewport. You have to make sure you're not still holding shift or it's gonna deselect whatever's under your mouse and that will be useless. So you hold shift, get your mouse where you want it so it's on top of the thing you wanna pick, hit spacebar, let go of shift, and click, and that will pick up your viewport, and then you can delete it with the delete key on your keyboard. The next step now is to use the view base command. So this is very simple. I'm gonna type view base, enter, and this is going to specify what we want. We can actually bring multiple files in, but we're gonna use model space. And look at that, that is our object. Now up here, you can actually, if you have multiple parts, you could click model space selection. You could go pick the bodies or the objects that you wanted. We don't need to do that so because uh, there's just one part. But if you had multiple objects, you could do that to just pick one of them. So I'm going to go back to the layout. But I wanted to tell you it's here. But what you can do is this is our front view. So we could put that down here. Um, we might also want to pick, like, let's say we wanted to pick our top view instead and place that first. We can pick that from up here. But, you know, let's stick with front. I like that. So we're going to place our front view here. Um, we can place it by clicking. I want this bigger, though, so I'm going to change the scale up to one to one. That looks pretty good. We can leave hidden lines on or off. Um, I'm going to leave it as it is, and I'm going to click to place that. Then you can just hit enter. Um, we've got this selection, uh, th these selection objects here that we can pick these selection options, excuse me. I'm just going to say uh, exit, which is fine. And it immediately takes you into a new command, which allows you to start projecting projected views. So like a front view, a top view, that sort of thing. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to place a top view. You know, why not? Let's place a right side view. We could even place an isometric view. So they're kind of on top of each other, but that's okay. When we're done, we're going to hit enter. Okay. And now everything is stuck where we want it. Now, here's the cool thing. You can click on these views. You can move them, and they will move together. So if I want to move this down. Now, I found you can't move these views up or down. You have to move it with, like, the main view here, the parent view, they call it. So we have to slide that down. Um, and then if we want to try to get that so it's off in space, there we go. Oop, it's still touching our border. So these can be a little tricky to get them where you want, but you can place everything. If you decide you don't want a view anymore, you can click it, hit delete. Maybe we want to move this down here because we decided that that view was redundant anyways. 
And now we have all our views. The last thing, of course, to do here is to start dimensioning this. Now, dimensioning when you've done the view base command can be a little tricky. Um, we can go over here. If we try to dimension these, watch what will usually happen. If I pick here, I pick here. Notice I'm in paper space when I'm dimensioning. If I click, it's going to look okay for now. But what I will often get, oh, wow, it didn't happen. What you may get, oh, there it is. <laughs> I had to leave the dimension tool. You're going to get this disassociated annotation thing. If you click on it, you can click reassociate. And you can click on these two points, and that little thing will go away. But it doesn't always stay away. And sometimes, okay, it didn't work that time. But sometimes if you move these, it'll mess them up again. But you don't want to have to do that for every single dimension. So there's a trick we can do to fix that. Let's just delete that dimension. Watch this. I'm going to type dim a soch, enter, and it says enter a new value for dim a soch. This is dim association. Um, I'm going to enter the value of two, and I don't actually recall the exact description of what that does, but it fixes our problem here. What it really is doing is it makes it so it will associate stuff through paper space into the model below. Now, if I place one of these from here to here, and I exit my dimension command, I don't get any little yellow exclamation point. Everything is beautiful. So I can add center marks for these. I can do all the stuff that I would want to do. I can dimension everything that I would normally do. And for the most part, everything is going to stay stuck together. It's going to stay associated with what it was supposed to be. I can move these views around. The dimensions will move with it. Everything is great, beautiful, and hunky-dory. So that is uh, usually what we want to go for with this. Then, of course, you can update all these things down on the bottom. So for this, you should submit a completed three-view drawing um, that you modeled using AutoCAD. Um, but I want it three-view and dimension. So that is the view-based command. One last note, you can also do view-proj or view-project. And if you decided, oh, dang, I did want that side view back, you do view proj, click on the view you want, and it will start projecting the views off of that. You can stamp them down wherever you need them to get those view back. When you hit enter, those will stay there. And of course, we can click on these views at any point in time. We can pick projected from up here. We can actually do uh, section views here if we wanted. We could create a cutting plane line this way um, and have it, let's see, go like this. Uh oh, all right, that's enough. Enter. There we go. And you could do your section view down here, enter, and it will actually do the section lines and everything for you. So lots of neat features there. Um, what else did I miss? Detail views would let you um, draw, I believe, yep, a circle and do a blown up version of that little spot right there. So that can be convenient if you needed to show details of like a screw or something. And last but not least, um, you can just straight up edit the view to change things about it if you needed to change um, the scale of that view to something else, if you needed to change it so the hidden lines were there or it was shaded instead or it was shaded with hidden lines, whatever you need, you can go back in and edit those, click OK, and then it will save that. So those are all the options that are here. All right, I'm done rambling. Good luck on this, people.